Hi, I'm Rocky Dickerson with Realty One Group. I know it's hard to believe. Here we are in the hottest real estate market we have ever seen in Las Vegas. And still, during this kind of a market, there are some homes that are expiring off the market. Now, what does that mean? This means a home was listed. It went on the market for all the buyers to see. And it didn't sell. No one bought it. If this has happened to you, we're going to take a quick look at what you can do about it. And if you're thinking about selling, we're going to take a look as well at what you can do to prevent it. Before we look at why homes may have expired off the market in what is certainly the most active real estate market in Las Vegas history, let's take a look at the basic lesson of supply and demand. First off, let's say you've got a great product. In fact, let's just say that in your store, you have three of these. Now, when you have these three products in your store and you have one person that wants to buy them, well, it looks as though you're going to have to discount if you want to get rid of all three. However, if it turns out there's a great number of people that want those products, well, the price will go up. Maybe full to retail price, maybe even above full retail price. At which point, you, as the shopkeeper, are going to want to order more products. At the same time, you're going to want to market in order to gain many more buyers. This is the adage of supply and demand that the shopkeepers utilize in order to make a profit in their business. Now, let's take a look at the same concept as it applies to your home. You've got your home on the market. Let's just say that in the area, maybe there's 10 families that might want to buy your home. Well, if eight of these 10 families want to use financing option B, but your home only offers financing option A, you've just lost 80% of your buyers. The fewer buyers, the fewer offers. The fewer offers, the lower the sales price you'll end up with. Or even worse, your home expires off the market. So what do you do if your home expires off the market? Well, first off, just like when you have an ailment or a pain and you go to a doctor and the doctor can't find anything wrong, can't say exactly what's causing it, what do you do? What you do is you get a second opinion from another expert. The same thing applies here. If your home is expired off the market, especially now when the market's as hot as it's ever been, you want to pull in an expert to find out what went wrong. They'll take a look at a number of factors that influence it, including the price, the features, and the marketing that was done on the home. Once you've looked at this, then you're ready to look to see what happened to your competition during your listing period. So let's just say you were on the market for six months. During those six months, 29 of your neighbors also went up for sale. If all 29 of them sold, but you didn't, well, hey, it's really you that caused that not to sell. If, however, those other 29, maybe only three or four sold, and most of them did not sell, it's not you. It's the market in general. So now take a look at the next factor. You're going to want to double check your own motivation. First off, what is the reason that you were selling this property? And second, what is the date that that has to be accomplished by? If you're not truly motivated, you may actually be a part of the problem. Oftentimes we see unmotivated sellers create conditions 
that keep a property from selling. Next, correct any and all mistakes made during the previous listing. When your expert comes in and shows you what errors were made before, make sure you correct them. You don't want to keep doing the same thing and expecting different results, as we all know the definition of insanity. Next, get a written plan of service from the new agent showing personal weekly contact. You don't want to be the small fish in the big pond. The reason being, some agents just don't care if their listings expire. I saw one agent that had four listings expire all in the same day. They could care less because they were getting so many contracts signed elsewhere, it didn't matter to them if they couldn't help those sellers achieve their objectives. So do you wanna be the small fish in a big pond or the big fish in a small pond? Do you want it to matter to that agent whether or not your home actually does sell? Next, make sure that your new agent has a plan to help all of your real estate needs. Not just selling this property, but for instance, if you're living in the property, do you need to purchase a new home? Are they helping you find that new home? If you're an investor, are they helping you with finding the connections to make a starker happen? Or are you looking long-term and going towards a CRT? Your agent needs to be able to assist you in making sure all of your real estate needs are taken care of. Finally, listen to the advice of the expert that you trust to take that listing the next time. Listen to them because things change and these agents that are the experts have their finger on the pulse of your marketplace. If they tell you you need to do something different, the quicker you respond to that, the more money you have the option of making. Now, let's say that your home has not expired off the market because it hasn't even gone on the market yet. What do you do to keep your home from expiring off the market if you're gonna go up for sale? Well, first off, make sure that your listing agent explains several things to you, including price versus value the current market conditions, not what they were six months ago, but what they are today. A written plan of action to sell your home. Not just that, well, you know, we're gonna see what we can do. No, you wanna make sure they put things in writing as to their exact plan and methodology to get your home sold. Also, you wanna find out what must be done to the home before it is marketed. Perhaps it needs a cleaning, perhaps it needs a fresh coat of paint. Your expert should be able to tell you these things before it goes up for sale and you get a bad reputation. Next, if you're living in a home, rent a storage space to store what isn't necessary. Personally, when I sold my own home, I put three quarters of my clothes into storage as well as half the things that I had in all the cupboards and in the pantries. I took everything off of the counters, off the shelves. I wanted to have as little of me showing to the buyers as is possible. This allowed new buyers to see the home, how they would live in it, not how I live in it. Next, take care of all the minor repairs that you find need to be done. You want to do this before it goes on the market because the last thing you want is for buyers to come in and spot several small things that need to be done because then they start to wonder how many other things need to be done that they haven't even noticed yet. Next, make the home easy to show with little notice. I've actually seen sellers do things like can only be shown Tuesdays or Thursdays between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. 
that's only eight hours a week it can be shown. Again, the fewer buyers can see it, the fewer offers you get, the lower price you have to settle for, or even worse, it just expires off the market completely. Remember, the inconvenience of showing the property with little notice is far outweighed by the higher sales prices you'll see in the end. Next, make sure your agent calls you at least once a week with feedback on showings. You want to know that they know exactly what's going on. If you don't hear back from them on a weekly basis, that's a bad sign. That's a sign I hear from many of the folks that I have gone to after their listing expired with another agent first. Next, be ready to pivot. It can make you thousands of dollars. There may be a sudden change in the marketplace. There may be a sudden change on what buyers desire. Whatever your agent brings up to you, pivot as quick as you can. You saw what a difference that made in 2020 when the pandemic hit and everyone had to pivot. Next, listen to your agent's advice. Your agent is a professional. It's their job to keep on top of the marketplace and they can help you to make those changes to make sure that you get the most money in your pocket when that property is sold. And that is what you want. For more information on how you can get your home sold, even if it expired before, call me, Rocky Dickerson, at 702-743-7625 or email rocky at rockysellsvegas.com.